hello everyone so until now we have studied all these things digital output analog analog output analog input digital input that is the most important part and also if conditions we studied and also maybe few other things okay i don't remember today we will start the concept called loops okay so if you have studied any programming languages language up to now there's no questions question that you know loops so there are number of loops for loops while loops i don't know number of loops or not <laughs> okay for loop while loops and do while loop is there so do while loop is used uh, quite rarely for loop and while loop are mostly used loops so we can study about them so basically what is a loop so if you open arduino we have a void loop here right the name itself is loop what does it mean what is its functionality it repeats okay void loop is running in a repeat repetitive mode right forever that is why it is a loop void loop the name itself is loop okay so like that here also if we consider about loops these loops are used to run repetitively okay for loop while loop do while loop whatever that means if you want to do a thing okay do something repetitively you don't have to repetitively tell you can write tell it inside a loop the loop loop will itself repeat it for example we wrote a blink code right you remember digital write output high delay 500 millisecond digital write output low delay 500 millisecond we wrote that inside this void loop so i said you we write the minimum piece of code digital output delay sorry digital write do you remember this guys delay digital write and a delay so that means this is one time functionality okay and if i want it to, i want it to happen forever right i want the led to blink forever so if i don't have a loop what should i do i have to again write it so this is for first time blink and again i have to write for second time blink again i have to write for three ta third time blink so how many times i can write i have to write infinitively okay but since i have a void loop that will run in infinitively i will write it only one time and i will put inside the loop okay that's enough loop will repeat yes or no yes that's what we have been doing up to now the same goes with these loops as well so if you want to do something 10 times 20 times or let's say forever so okay forget about this this loop for the moment you you are supposed to do something a number of times so in that case let's say you want to do something for 10 times so you have to write it 10 times say do let's say you are eat 10 times eat eat like that you are write 10 times but if you use a for loop and customize it to do repeat only 10 times you can use the for loop and write the eat only one time is enough like how we have written the blink inside the void loop one time you can write the eating inside the for loop one time and customize the for loop to run 10 times then you have the your eat will happen 10 times you understand what I'm telling? Let's let's take an action. Let's say you're doing an action. Okay, you want an action to happen ten times. So you write it in the coding action, 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 like ten times. So that is painful. If you want to want it to happen hundred times, it's even painful. So what we do is, what you can do is you can write the action only one time, and put the action inside a for loop. Okay, and you have to customize the for loop to work for 10 times okay or let's say if you want 100 times okay or if you want infinite infinite times then if you write the action only one time but you write it inside the for loop and you customize the for loop to any num a number of times that you want then this action will happen that number of times 10 times or 100 times or whatever you give you understand what i'm telling this is not the syntax guys okay i'm just writing it for example there is a structure to write a for loop or while loop we will see that later so you can do the same thing with the while loop as well okay you can do the same thing with the while loop as well if you want it 10 times you can write the context of the quote minimum or minimum piece of quote only one time 
and you can write it inside the loop then the while loop will repeat it, repeat it 10 times so very easy only one line of code but 10 time occurrences you understand so to customize to any number of time you want or infinite number of time or repeat until a particular condition is obtained you can have this for or while loops for example you can think like this you have to do an action until your mother stops says stop okay so you can still use the while loop for that you can write the condition as okay if the mother says stop okay unless the mother stays stops i will keep doing the action okay so this while loop will repeat until mother says stops same will happen with the for loop as well so not only for number of times but also until the condition happens you may need to repeat an action okay so you can do that as well so this is also not a syntax okay i'm just telling it for understanding okay so for example you can hit i'm just telling okay okay you can fight with your brother or sister until your mother comes just just uh, this pillow fights right or nothing serious no violence okay so until mother comes you can fight if mother comes you should stop okay so you can i will write only one time the fighting and i will put it inside the loop and i will set the condition if not mother comes okay this this is a not symbol right you get it guys so until mother is not there at the moment until that you can repeatedly fight and if mother comes okay that means not mother comes is false that means the condition is not satisfied okay or let's say this condition is satisfied to stop so the follow will stop so you stop fighting you understand what i'm telling okay so this is the basic functionality of a loop you can use it to repeat something for any number of times okay or until a condition condition is met or let's say under a particular condition you understand this is the main thing uh, we do with the loops okay so just watch this video and write a graph if you don't understand just re-watch the video in the upcoming videos we will start coding for the loops for loop by loop and everything with the proper structure how to write a for loop and how it functions actually how to write a while loop and how it functions actually we will see okay guys just follow me up there in the next video i will properly more or clearly explain you guys okay you'll get full understanding about how the loops work okay guys so stay safe i'll catch you up in the next video